Hi, this is Discrete Math Notes Unit 1. And so right now we want to go through recursion. You should have done this in class. But we want to go to this right here, which talks about recursion. Some of you have been through this before, but many of you have not. What happens a lot of times is that we have something that is recursive. And so it's a verbal or symbolic statement that describes how one number can be derived from another. And so all we're doing is in a sequence, we're finding a rule that will get us from one term to another. So this right here would be example number one. And this looks kind of foreign to you, I would think, some of you. But it tells me that this is the first term. And what is the first term? Well, it's a number four. And then this is the rule how to generate the next term from that. So all this is saying is that this term is equal to two times the previous term. This subscript, all it means is the number uh, or where you are in a certain situation. So what I like to do here is I like to set up a, what, a little chart here. And then what happens is that this is just like locker numbers. So if you go out in the hallway, there's locker numbers. This is the first locker. This is the second locker, third locker, fourth locker, fifth locker. And then what happens is that that is what we call the N. And then T sub N is what is inside each one of those lockers. Well, what they've told me here is that what's inside the first locker is a four. So I can put that here. But then what we want to do is find out what is in each subsequent locker after that. Well, we can refer to the previous term to do that. So when I look at this thing right here, I want to translate this to English. And so what I do is I call this now. This is my now term is equal to 2, the 2 is part of the formula, and then this t sub n minus 1 is the previous term. And so all we're doing is taking, to find what we want now, is we take 2 times the previous term. And so what that means for us is that t sub 2, which would be this term right here, is equal to 2 times t sub 1. And so if I put this in, and t sub 3 is equal to 2 times t sub 2, and so on. So if I put this in here, this is my first term, which is 4. Now to get the second term, which this one right here would be t sub 2. t sub 2 is equal to 2 times t sub 1. Well, that's just 2 times 4. So this right here is simply going to be an 8. And so what's this one going to be? Well, it's just going to be t sub 3 is equal to 2 times t sub 2. So it's going to be 16. And I think you can see the pattern now. I hope you can. 32, and then this one would be 2 times this term right here, which would be 64. So that's how you set this up. Let's go to example number 2. Okay, let's change this number here to a 3 instead of a 2. Hopefully you didn't go ahead. But then uh, if we start with this, this would be a 3 right here. So when we start this off, what we're going to do is, well, first of all, I would write this in words. So I'd have now, that's t sub n is equal to 3 times the previous. This little subscript means the previous term. And then minus 4. That's essentially what this thing means right here. Well, my now is the 3. So if I take this, this 3 right here is equivalent to this one right here. This 3 right here is equivalent to this 3 right here. So I go 3 times 3, which is 9, minus 4, which we would end up with as a 5. So, and then... When I do the next term, I'm going to put the 5 in here. And I'm going to go 3 times 5 minus 4 and figure out what that is and put that here. So what I have right now is the first term is a 3. The second term here is going to be whatever this turns out to be, and that is a 5. And then the third term is going to be whatever this one turns out, 3 times 5 minus 4, which would give me 11. What would be the next one? Maybe you want to pause this and figure out what the next one is. If I do that, then I go 3 times 11. So I finish up these last two. And then, so if I want this term right here, what I do is I take the previous term, take 3 times that previous term, so that'd be 33, minus the 4, which would give me 29. To get 83, I would take. 3 times 29, and then subtract 4 to get this last term here. I hope you're getting the pattern here. This, these last two examples, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the chart 
but you're going to fill in the chart and you're going to pause this right now and then fill in the chart and then check your answers. So please pause right now. Do example three, do example four, and then see what you end up with. These are the answers to example number three. Double check that you make this. So three times negative two is negative six. Minus four would be negative 10 and so on. Now for example four, once again, pause this and try that one. And I'll post the answers. So then these are the answers to example four. So that's how you set up a recursive formula, or I guess you find the values of the recursive formula. I like to say once again that these are the locker numbers, and then this is in what's, what is inside the locker. So if you have the variable with the subscript, that's what's inside the respective locker that has this number. So this is t sub one, this is t sub two, this is t sub three, and so on. Okay, I hope that this turned out all right for you and you were able to figure out what these answers were. Thanks and have a nice day.